The unique part about the Super Hornet is it is one of the few platforms in the world that can truly do air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions uh, at a moment's whim. We are truly the jack-of-all-trades, and I would counter a master of many of those trades as well. With the flexibility of the systems in the aircraft, the flexibility of the weapons it can carry, and in my case, the F-18 Foxtrot, the two-seat version with the additional capabilities that second crew member brings, we have a lot of uh, capabilities that other aircraft don't. A few things I like about the jet, on a maintenance perspective, uh, the jet being new is nice. Um, a lot of mechanical, electrical mechanical things are uh, a lot more user-friendly, per se. As far as the platform, it seems to be bigger, capable, and every, every package that they put on it seems, seems to work. That versatility is the answer to that. Something that is unique to the Super Hornet, uh, on our last combat cruise, we had a large number of targets to strike, so we had 20 bombs coming off two jets. That small measure there, something that many other aircraft can't do, saves time, fuel, uh, and allows to strike a, the enemy in one, felt, one pass. That's just a small microchasm of how flexible a Super Hornet is. Basically, if it's in the Navy's inventory, the Super Hornet can carry it. As far as having uh, on-the-go issues, with just the pure lack of on-the-go repairs, uh, reduces the amount of man hours that I have to do for flight schedule. Therefore, I can put more man hours towards phases. Whether it's the offensive system in the aircraft with the AP-279 ASA radar, to the defensive countermeasures in the aircraft uh, and the offensive weapons, I am comfortable going up against any aircraft in the world today.